What do you worry about uh, at the it, Super Bowl? In the Super Bowl? No, look, in the Super Bowl, uh, the Broncos are a great team. They've got a, a Hall of Fame quarterback that's had an amazing year. And he, on the field, uh, in effect, operates as a coach. And he's, and he's seeing what the defense is doing. He's, in effect, calling all the plays. He's a uniquely talented individual. So the question is, you know, all of that offensive skill, uh, you know, versus our, you know, top-rated defense. So that's going to be a very, very interesting thing to watch. And then I think, you know, our offense has a, has a chance to, uh, to prove that they can do more than, than, other, than people think they can. What is it you like about the team? Uh, well, there's, I guess there's a number of things. It's, uh, you know, we're a very young team. A lot of it's about speed and grittiness and determination. And Pete kind of uniquely gives the players the ability to, to express themselves, to be who they are. So what is the philosophy you think that, that John and Pete have put together that makes the Seahawks in the Super Bowl, that puts them in the Super Bowl? Well, I think, you know, both of them are out-of-the-box thinkers. In the case of Russell Wilson, they just loved his level in, in the skill, even though uh, most people had, had ruled him out as a first-round pick. And I think if you redid the draft today, he would certainly be taken in the first round. So they, so they have the ability to think outside the box. And as a general manager, you have to have what I call the golden gut. You have to have a sense uh, of what, what's inside a player and what's going to get that player over the top. What's the satisfaction for you? Uh, I think the satisfaction comes on a number of different levels. One is just seeing how the community responds to the team and, and enjoys, uh, you know, seeing the team victorious and supporting them. I think, uh, especially in smaller markets, I think that comes to the fore uh, in a pretty unique way. And then for me, of course, behind the scenes, you get to know the people, you get to, you know, get to know the players, the coaches, and ask good questions, see, see how it's all coming together. and try to make a good suggestion here or there. But I'm not quite as obsessional as I used to be. In the early days, I, I tried to memorize the statistics of NBA, every NBA player, which, but I'm not uh, quite that bad anymore. And what will you do between now and Sunday? Well, of course, you know, as an owner, there's many, many events uh, that I'll, I'll be participating in. And I'll probably uh, take some of the coaches aside to get more detail, detailed explanation of of what our approach is going to be. Okay, so what questions are you going to ask of your coaches? Well, what is it you want to know? The detailed strategy, I mean, if you, th if you think about it, like just the, the preparation of a Russell Wilson, he really admires Drew Brees. He would watch, every, like this last summer, he watched every throw Drew Brees had made as a, as a professional quarterback. Every uh, throw? Every throw, I believe. So I'm sure... Uh, our, our coaches <laughs> are dissecting, you know, every pass Peyton Manning made this year, every, play, every defense that worked against him, the ones that didn't. How can we, you know, bring our best players uh, to bear against stopping their passing attack and stopping their running attack? I and mean, they're a very well-rounded team. You can't just be conventional. You have to yeah. throw some prizes and some surprises. And so you want to know what the surprises balls. might be. I do. That's at least the owner wants to know I, that. I have to admit, I have to admit that I do, and I usually uh, talk to Coach Carroll before every game, and I say, "Okay, what are the wrinkles this weekend?" <laughs> and he's got a couple of them uh, ready to go. So, at the core, what does winning the Super Bowl mean for Paul Allen? It would be wonderful for me, but I think really more about the fans and the city, and celebrating a Super Bowl victory for for any city, but especially for uh, a city that hasn't had one. That will just be fantastic.